Um, we have a family farm that's their property. And I, I realize that this is a federal project. By it being federal, I'm wondering, do we really have a voice? If I say, if she says, no, I don't want pipeline, do we really have a voice? Can we really stop y'all? They'll take your land. Well, and just to clarify, we're not building the project. So the Sable Trail transmission, not the trans trans Sable Trail transmission is, is proposing to, to build the pipeline. Our job is to regulate it. And I like to think that everyone's comments and concerns do make a difference and, and, uh, and are considered. I really do believe that. I've worked on enough projects to know that you'd be surprised what one person concerns can do. And it, it's an important part, and we want to know what people think about. And the commission that I work for wants to know what people think about. They've got a big job ahead of them trying to address the country's needs. And to answer your question, yes, I think that you can influence the project. That's, that's probably the, the best thing I can say. Can it be so mean and just say, no, we don't, I mean, we've heard your comments, but no, we're coming through. Can they do that? The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission can, you know, deny a project. That, that, is, that, is, that is possible. FERC certainly has denied projects in certain cases, and generally when that happens, what they're doing is they're weighing what we say in the environmental impact statement to the impacts on the landowners versus the benefit of the projects. So that's what, why we do the environmental impact statement first, so the commissions have reprised those environmental impacts, and then they weigh those benefits from the project. So definitely, the, the, what do you bring up to us when you put in the EIS, that's how they make their decisions.